Oh, man. Game over. Hey. Nah, I'm still at work. Getting out of here in a couple of hours, though, so. Oh, such a long day, man. I gotta get some coffee in my system. That's uh, just boring, you know? Nothing ever happened. No. No. No, no, no! Uh, I, I gotta go! I gotta go! Hey! Everything out here? Oh, no! Oh, no, 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 no! Welcome to Strike Force. You are an elite battle squad assembled to defend Earth. This is who we're up against. The alien warlord Ultimus and his Kree soldiers who have joined forces with Hydra and AIM. Now I know some of you aren't used to fighting side by side with each other, but the world needs you to put aside your feuds and stand together. Any questions? I am Groot. Any other questions? All right, it's go time. Now get out there and save the world. I didn't go to medical school to be a hero. And I didn't enlist in S.H.I.E.L.D. to save the world. I'm not like my teammates. No magic hammer, no ninja sai, no special shield. But we do have one thing in common. We made a choice. A choice to fight for what's right. To answer when humanity calls. Am I a hero? No. But today, I choose to be. Ah! <laughs> he should not have gone first. When I heard Thanos was joining our team, I was like, Phew. isn't Thanos, I don't know, omnipotent? Why would the holder of the ultimate power in the universe even need teammates? Then it dawned on me. What he really needs can't be captured in an infinity stone. Because what he really needs is a friend. But becoming Thanos' friend isn't easy. And we're so different. He's enormous. I'm average. To slightly above average in height. He's a titanium eternal. I'm from Toledo. He's purple. I am not. So, one day, I said, listen. I know you've made some mistakes. Perhaps you've wiped out the occasional species and destroyed a solar system or two, but I still want to be your friend. And then he turned around, looked me straight in the eye, and he said, Hi. It was such a small word, yet it meant so much. Okay, the more I think about it though, I'm pretty sure he said, Die. Yeah, that probably makes more sense. He definitely said die. Still, though, Thanos! The life we live as heroes is not an easy one. It takes a lot to put your life on the line, day in and day out. You need something to inspire you. Or someone. In my case, that someone was my Dee Dee. She's why I fought. What kept me going through every battle. Dee Dee and I met online. At first, we'd just message once in a while, but soon it was every day. <laughs> I told her everything. And gave her everything. My heart. My soul. My ATM number. And then one day I called her, and my new teammate, Deadpool's phone started ringing. It turns out there was no DD. Deadpool was DD. Yeah, he'd been catfishing me for over a year. He thought it was pretty funny. And it was. I'm uh, pretty sure it was. <laughs> it's, it's hilarious. <sighs> Dee Dee. <laughs> Tony, blast refraction. My God, that's impressive. Hey, helmet guy! Huh? Grenade refraction! Uh-oh. 
Sorry, sorry. It just happened, Iron Man. They did their thing. I got kind of jealous and, uh... You are not gonna be okay. Oh. I've been called fearless. Mostly by myself, but it's not totally true. I suffer from entomophobia, the fear of insects. So, naturally, when I heard Ant-Man and Wasp were joining my squad, I was concerned. Sure, it's really cool that they can shrink down to the size of bugs. But what if they were brainwashed and I got stung? Or what if one of them crawled up in my ear and laid eggs? So, I loaded up my belt with bug spray, all kinds. Then I made a tactical decision to stuff my ears with cotton balls. Blocks the entrance, it's basic military strategy. Something I learned from my boy Steve. Captain America to you. Anyway, we find ourselves in this huge battle. AIM soldiers are blasting us left and right. Ant-Man and Wasp are showing off some amazing team-up moves. When suddenly, Ant-Man gets hit. So he starts calling for the medic. <laughs> Me. <clears throat> Unfortunately, I couldn't hear him because of the cotton balls. Ant-Man hasn't spoken to me since. But you know what else he hasn't done? Laid an egg in my head. The addition of Miss Marvel to the team has been really great. She's so young and has so many incredible powers. But the youth have a language of their own, which has led to some communication issues. Like the time Miss Marvel asked why Elektra was so salty, which was frustrating because as the medic, I have encouraged everyone to cut back on their sodium intake. I even provided a pamphlet. On another occasion, she asked if I was woke. And I said yes, since 5.30 a.m. 5.40 if you count the snooze. She even told Black Panther he was sick. But after an extensive medical examination, no virus was detected in T'Challa. Now though, I think I get it. No, JK. It's been totes lit keeping it 100 with Miss Marvel. TBH, thanks to her, we're all YOLOing our best lives. Pounce on squad goals. I was a little nervous when I heard Venom was joining the team. I mean, he's an alien symbiote. Or, in civilian terms, a parasite. And let's be honest, a parasite and a medic aren't meant to get along. In fact, I wouldn't mention this to Venom, but in my line of work, I actually kill parasites. But Venom has pleasantly surprised me. Sure, he lacks a certain amount of social grace and appears to be fighting an uphill battle against Ooh. gum disease. And not to brag, but our connection on the battlefield is undeniable. I even told Venom, I think we make something I like to call a dream team. He did not interpret that the way I intended. We intended. What? Oh man, I think I got pink eye again. When Magneto first joined the team, everyone told me he had a pretty negative opinion about humans. But he's such an asset on the battlefield that I couldn't stand the idea of not bonding with him off of it. Then, suddenly, it hit me. Magnets. Here's how it works. You need a positive charge to attract a negative one. See? If Magneto was bringing the negativity, all I had to do was bring the positivity and voila, instant connection. So I started showering him with compliments. Things like, I'm so impressed with the way you throw random metal at people. And I loved your lecture on homo sapiens genetic inferiority. And my personal favorite, they must call you Magneto because your helmet is neato. Turns out, Magneto is not a big fan of compliments. Which he let me know as he fused my body armor shut. So going to the bathroom presents a real challenge. Not Neato, man. Not Neato. Oh, goody goody gumdrops I gotta be. To celebrate the season, our team had a holiday dinner. They did not seat me at the adults' table. Which proves that my new skincare regimen is totally working. Anyways, there I was, 
seated next to the youngest member of her team, Miles Morales, AKA Spider-Man. As we began to talk, I had a realization. This kid has such serious responsibilities that he never gets to live like a regular teenager. This was my chance to give him a taste of youth normalcy. My chance to be the cool uncle. Cool Uncle Shield Medic. So, I snuck a whole pecan pie over to our table. Miles seemed a little hesitant at first. He even mentioned his spidey sense was tingling. Whatever. I assured him it's okay to be a little rebellious as a teenager. Then we proceeded to devour that pecan pie. Uh, in retrospect, it was probably a mistake to question his spidey sense, because it turns out I have what we medical professionals classify as a severe nut allergy. You do not want to see the rash under here. Marvel's Strike Force, download now for free. Can we cut? I have to, I have to reapply some ointment.